Hey guys, so today we're going to be reading a lot of Captain Underpants, Chapter 2, Chaos Comics, Inc. Yeah, okay, so Chapter 2, Chaos Comics, Inc. After a hard day of cracking jokes, pulling pranks, and causing mayhem at the school, George and Harold like to rush to the old treehouse in George's backyard. Inside the treehouse, there were two big old fluffy chairs, a table, a cupboard crammed with junk food, and a padlock crate filled with pencils, pens, and stacks of and stacks of paper. Now, Harold loved to draw, and George loved to make up stories, and together, the two boys spent hours and hours writing and drawing their very own comic books. Over the years, they had created hundreds of their own comics, starring dozens of their own superheroes. First, there was Dog Man, and then came Timmy the Talking Toilet, and who could forget the amazing Cow Lady, but the, the, but the all-time greatest superhero they, had to, they, they ever made up had to be the amazing Captain Underpants. George came up with the idea. Most superheroes look like they're flying around in their underwear, he said. Well, this guy is actually flying around in his underwear. The two boys laughed and laughed. Yeah, said Harold. He could fight with wedgie power. George and Harold spent entire afternoons writing and drawing the comics and adventures of Captain Underpants. He was the coolest superhero ever. Luckily for the boys, the secretary at the school was at Durham Hortwitz Elementary School was much too busy to keep an eye on the copy machine. So whenever they got a chance, George and Harold would sneak off, would sneak into the office and run off several hundred copies of their latest Captain Underpants adventure. After school, they sold their homemade comics on the playground for fifty cents each. Tune in tomorrow for Chapter Three: The Adventures of Captain Underpants. Okay, thanks for watching. Sorry, I'm in a bad mood right now. Yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye, people.